Hello, <coughs> welcome to Tesla physics series again. In this video, I will describe effect which uh, I have noticed uh, 2005. In that time, I was uh, a friend of mine asked me to repeat uh, a test which he conducted in. Uh, Paris in Fontainebleau laboratory all together with his assistants and they need me to make a replica and give back my conclusion. Actually it is very simple uh, circuit. In that time it was popular like uh, time energy pump tap. Today many People call this circuit Julie Tiff. I will describe briefly the C1 capacitor is the source capacitor which get power from external source. Uh, when external source are disconnected, is disconnected from C1, C2 uh, switch is activate and C1 is discharged to this circuit oscillator to capacitor C2. In ordinary discharging charging without the circuit uh, to the identical capacitors uh, on the end will be half voltage than it was on the beginning which means if it is 12 volts here on the beginning on the end it will be 6 in both of them. With this circuit uh, there will be about 8.2 volts in both of them depends on the type of coil of the oscillator or the uh, speed of diode and so on. I spent a lot of time I made so many coils so many different oscillators to until I play with it. Over here is very important to say that this resistor 3K3 uh, is uh, limit the current. Uh, I will not expand electronic, it is common. So, which means the value of this resistor uh, will give uh, determine the time how long this charge will last. So, bigger value it will be slower, so lower value will be faster. I made uh, then after so many works with it, I noticed uh, some very strange effect on the begin on the middle of this work. One of them is uh, it is little change. Uh, it is little change uh, circuit. Uh, the changes are the change that I added extra coil. And I charge two capacitors instead of one. Both of them receive in series charge and deliver back in the parallel connection. When I conducted this, but see that I use a resistor 270k, which means that and that this coil is was uh, with about two, 250 turns each coil has, uh, which means that this is very slow uh, discharging. When it is the first time that I noticed something which couldn't happen in ordinary. Uh, Over here you can see that uh, source capacitor C1, C2 lose uh, lose the voltage until this moment until uh, C3 and C4 which receiving capacitor are getting uh, voltage over here this is breaking moment when uh, C1 and C2 start to uh, receive charge not to spend and it start to continue uh, but over here 
we can see its total energy of system it was starting energy level and it spent it what is but here it start to rise up again so it, it is not normal uh, in uh, ordinary circuit you need to spend all the time that you lose energy and but it is because it's too slow it took me almost all day to get these results and I didn't finish so the final uh, energy amount was 5.22 but start was 5.24 so, so then I made different uh, circuit and I with just one to one capacitor and you can maybe you can see that source capacitor losing the charge until, until then and st start to get the charge back and rise above and over its total energy amount so the start the start was 0 0.033 joules or here was 0 0.04 and we finish with 0 0.057 joules which we, we, we get more than it was in the start but it is also a very slow process and it's not easy repeatable sometimes it's happened sometimes not uh, you can see on my youtube channel uh, video when we have a very similar result when both capacitor uh, receiving charge then uh, after i st let's back to the circuits back so what is the normal until uh, when uh, the bigger value of this resistor is the longer time of this charging charging is will be but the gain in charge is happen on the beginning so if it's you oh, the start when you start uh, you are losing the gain in charge by the time so which means when you are uh, when you your pulse is short and short much shorter and the gain in charge be bigger and bigger by logic which means when the time uh, of discharging will be close to zero the gain in charge will be close to infinity uh, but we cannot make it uh, close to zero so what i did this circuit with uh, the coil was like this actually it is uh, made on the telefax tube cardboard 250 250 uh, turns on it was on the tiny wire it is for triggering coil. so so what i did because it, uh, i use a very high, high value of the resistor uh, it was too slow i just switch on for a second and disconnect so which means that i physically disconnect this capacitor and this capacitor that wasn't part of the circuits anymore and by the time i ch uh, check the voltage in each of them by the time which took me also one day they came to the level which will be if they will stay in the circuit which means that this circuit was just initial pulse which took just one second where there wasn't for one second there was some millivolts here some millivolts here was over here was uh, very close to 12 volts after one second when i disconnect by the time which means after many hours i got 8.2 here about 8.2 here even they are 
actually there was in two different rooms. Uh, later I changed the capacitors. Uh, let, uh, this is, was a smaller value capacity than this one, but always uh, on the end was the same voltage, like if it is stay here or not stay here, uh, it will be on the end. It was for me in that time really, really confusing uh, how it can ha how it happened. Today I have some possible answers that uh, are very similar to fractal mathematics. That it is the same, uh, like will be if you screen if we uh, zoom up the time from let's say this uh, discharging will last 10 minutes but i use one second that uh, one second is behavior like in fractal mathematics is in 10 minutes and 10 days and so on that's it thank you for watching